WFYM episode 116. Wow. Hello. Wow. Hey. Oh, wow. Something crazy happened to me on the weekend. Let's hear it. I had the the king of the bubble butt baddie empire himself. Oh. Cole the Phenom Campbell in my DMs. Ooh. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. Not, the fate of... The fate of a million 13-year-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. When I had that, like, fucking tweet go around of just, like, screenshots from his Instagram, mm-hmm. and, like, he, he started replying. I got a, pe- a bunch of people being like, hey, you know he de-na- DM teenage girls when he wasn't, when he was, like, overage? And I'm like, well, he's a problematic yep. fave. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But, uh... What, are you gonna get him fired from his parents' house? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, from, what am I gonna do? Fired from being fat. <laughs> yeah. Fired from Instagram? <laughs> I will no longer laugh off. at this guy. But yeah. he, uh... <laughs> you know, I'll no longer say he's stupid and his clothes look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> but he just DM'd me a video of him, his, him, like, singing Chris Brown, right? And said, post this, bro. About to do numbers, buddy. Thank you, because I just, like, retweeted it. So I kind of want to keep Cole Campbell on retainer. And he's like, now we need to get this guy on board too. And it was Tom, of course, who well, who posted, uh, "My barber killed it today for real." Um, well, with his, his new flame haircut. So I mean, a continuation, it is a continuation of that. He also DM'd me immediately after that. Mm-hmm. I saw in mine. He said, "Bro, could you please retweet this to make it gain traction?" And uh, it was that same video where he's dancing around to Chris Brown. <laughs> but I'm not gonna retweet it because it's. One, I'm not going to retweet him, but his belly doesn't even poke out of it like it does in yesterday's dance video he posted on Instagram. Oh. And like, also, like, I would just steal it. I don't like you. I hate you. Yeah. I you want to know why I DM'd you, you, Tom? Because you told him to. I was like, do you need to get Tom to get that flame haircut to go viral, though? You're right. And he was like, hello, I know, man. Yeah, I'll message him. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much after I saw that. And after I saw you send me that he shared mine, I was like, well, I can expect to see that very soon. And I almost wrote something very mean to him, but I was like, I just... why Not worthy, he's having fun. No, there's I nothing really mean you can say to him. I mean, I hate him too, but there's nothing you can say to him that people haven't said in his yeah, I know. Uh, Instagram comments already a thousand it's times. So cool. so, he's the- like you could say, like, obviously you live with your parents, you're lying about having money, you're lying about being a famous rapper and strippers fuck you for your fame, and you have four Bugattis and all this shit, and everyone's just laughing at you, and he would be like, fuck you, hater. I know, that's why I didn't even bother. Yeah, it's just... It, because it's, it's the same... People when, have tried. It's, this has been going on for like a decade. He's the Fresh Prince of Prince George. <laughs> that's right. Fresh Prince George. Yeah, he's been bad, and someone needs to send him somewhere he's else. The, he's already in the, his parents' pool house, essentially. Well, one, he also didn't even try to follow me, so like, come on, dog, don't start asking me for uh, he, retweets and you don't even follow me. He followed me first. I followed back. Cole I'm not. Well, okay. You love this man on, on, on Twitter. Texting well, teens. <laughs> listen. You love. The, I'll do the, that for the Devin learning Sweeney. and growing every day. I'll retweet day. Devin Sweeney. Yeah. I'll follow all of his new accounts. I'll I love get Devin. him followers. We support Devin. He's mm-hmm. a victim of sexual crimes, not a perpetrator. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was it, he was used and abused by all sorts of people on the street and the, the whole, truckers. The whole and, trucker convoy. I I put um, Cole on like a he's I hate him just as much as I hate Mikey Miles, but Cole's less annoying. Um, just I think Cole's way less, cooler. Uh, he's less like he has less contact with humans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he's less likely to dances. harm. I mean, like it, it would I would rather hang out in his room than Mikey Miles because I don't think he has bugs. If he's playing like Michael Jackson or something, that's better than like Mikey Miles is going to be smooth jazz and then CBS on a two inch TV. If so, they traded, if if Mikey and Cole traded places, Cole would be dead within seventy two hours. Yeah. <laughs> also, whereas, oh yeah, he doesn't. But Cole is kept Mikey under like would be, strict supervision. Cole lives in prison, basically, where they check his phone. They're like, okay, you don't, you're not allowed to actually have Snapchat. We have to check all your messages because we can't trust you with like contact with anybody. Like. He, there's no shot that like they're not going through his phone every day be like so did you send dick pics to any teen girls now no okay good good job Cole good job buddy here's a treat Mikey we don't have would... to have another conversation with the local police officer we know by name yeah <laughs> if, if Mikey because some girl's with... dad called them if they switched places and Mikey Miles lived with Cole Campbell's parents he would have the uh, the institutionalization where it, like they'd be like come 
come have some brunch. You don't gotta eat in your room. And you come upstairs and like open a can of tuna and only use like three inches of counter and nothing else. And like <laughs> only stand. <laughs> And, like, <laughs> when he grabs a paper towel, he just, like, rips off a tiny bit of the corner and folds it up, like, 40 times and tucks just, it into his shirt. He just walks through the house sideways, like, no matter how yeah. big the room is. Yeah. Every doorway he turns. <laughs> he ducks under every doorway when it's, like, 13-foot ceilings. He's just, like, He's letting just in a stray cat. That's yeah. how Kiki's been. She's just sort of, like, trying to figure out her new surroundings and everything. So you do the same with Mikey. But I compared the two because I, like, if Cole... I just block Cole and I block when Mikey followed me immediately. Like I just blocked him. I don't mm-hmm. want, I want to show your picture and also like post your like basketball videos. Cause they're really funny. Yeah. And I don't want to think about you as a person because you're not a person. Yeah. So don't look at me on uh, Twitter. Cause he did follow me on Instagram and I would like, re- like post his post to my story and just with like, LOL. And then he DM me. Be like, what's so funny about this, bro? Wait, Mikey <laughs> or Cole? Mikey. Oh, yeah. And then no, I was just like, all right, I'm going to block you, because fuck off. When Mikey yeah, followed I don't me, I immediately wanna... blocked him. I also don't follow him on any socials. Yeah, there's something about like people trying to be like funny to Mikey Miles. Like mm-hmm. He's genuinely a piece of shit, and he has zero redeeming qualities. Yeah, whereas Cole can dance. Yeah, That's yeah, true. he can dance at least. There, there are at least and things sing. where you can joke about that. He's a double threat. Mikey, but, but I, Mikey, he's, he's, he's a triple aggressive. threat. He can dance, sing, and eat. The only time I ever replied to him was when he posted something on Twitter about Sarah, the woman that he was stalking, and I just said, mm-hmm. "Not good," I mm-hmm. think, and then he blocked me. Yeah, that's what he does. He blocks anybody who just like says, "This is bad. Don't do this." And he goes, "Well, I don't need. I don't like the haters. Yeah, you don't haters. have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at all." It's amazing, oh, and there's no way to get him to realize that he's. An insane psychopath, sexual predator. Yeah, but like, Cole, because like he loses his job for it, and well, I don't know. I'll keep doing the same shit. His like family won't talk to him. He does the same shit. He has no friends. He does the same shit. He can't get a date. He does the same shit. So what do you do? I don't know. But Cole's this like just the Canadian version of that, where he's like a little bit nicer, but like he's also just kept on a leash. Where Mikey's parents like he can yeah, go to I, the doctor. Just, like, they, I, we can't control him so his dad's just like i'm done they keep him on a leash yeah. but it's a leash somewhere else yeah <laughs> it's like it's like tying your dog to a pole that's in front of like, a store three blocks away <laughs> like you just stay here as long as you're like you have fleas and i don't want you to bring the fleas mm-hmm. to the house so as long as you're there that's fine they just they just ping the find my iphone app to get him home it goes, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> because he does have bed bugs and cockroaches and last time he was at his family's house he Used his uh, brother's wife's laptop to look at porn. In, like, the living room, too. Like, he got caught yeah. doing it. <laughs> so he, they can't let him in the house. He's an animal. Yeah. I, like, I just, I feel that, that Cole, my friend Cole Campbell, mm-hmm. is um, less malicious despite his, like, obvious transgressions in the past. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. It, again, it's just because but, he doesn't have the ability to do, go do that stuff. Because yeah. he would. He would be on the subway touching women. A hundred percent. He's no, just he'd like, be on the subway doing <laughs> Showtime. No, yeah, well, I think he, it's if he was. Oh that's man, he was bumping into everybody. <laughs> Cole putting on a Chris <laughs> Brown song and trying to flip over the bars, and he falls down, and it causes like a seismic event. The train starts moving. He immediately just fucking falls and knocks himself out on a chair, and just lays there for the whole ride. Uh, there's a a crater, a divot in the bottom of the subway. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's yeah, it's more that he doesn't have. Like, maybe there were teen girls, like, talking to him ironically mm-hmm. or whatever in 2012, but I don't think that's happening now. I think the people that are commenting on his Instagram are people our age. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, like, just people, like, Making gassing him up him. to, like, yeah. have a laugh. Yeah, exactly. so I don't think, yeah, he doesn't have access to any sort of sex crimes to do, no, which is good. And I think that's true of a directly. lot of guys. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of really shitty guys who, if they had the chance, would do some pretty bad things, but yeah. they're... Absolutely. Usually not in a situation, they're like not invited to parties mm-hmm. and stuff like that. People yeah. know yeah. that like you can't have these guys around. So we, yeah, like that's why they're not invited to the they're, parties because Cole they're Campbell's gonna, like, that rare thing where he's the rich people's kid, and he but he also has no idea where to get any drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't know where to get alcohol. <laughs> like yeah. someone still has to buy him alcohol. <laughs> There is a like, some clown so, after he got the, the <laughs> flames haircut, 
Um, mm-hmm. He was like trying to go clubbing tonight, and he posted like four or five Instagram stories over over like the course of like a couple hours on like a Saturday night. He's like, and then he was like saying, "I'm going, like hit me up." And there's just like nothing from the club, so you could tell that no, no. one was like, "Yeah, let's go to the club, Cole and, and Prince yeah, George." Fuck, who the and then, fuck <laughs> and well, then the he was like, "Wasn't going to go there? alone because like, why would you?" The best posts were with him and his like one friend Jimbo, who just looked like a dumb motherfucker. Uh, and Jimbo, he they'd come over and they would never just, met like, a smart try, Jimbo. <laughs> they would just tr- chug liquor and. They would just be like posting, come over, g- girls, DM me for the address. We're about to have a banger, yo. Come, come on over, girls. And he will continuously do these posts like, I'm having a party at the house. DM me for the address. And then no pictures of his God. house <laughs> later on. It's like, okay, yeah. No one's coming. You'd think you'd get like the hint. Yeah, he is He's the fucking... rich kid who like their parents go away for the weekend. They're like, I'm gonna have a wager. I'm gonna have a huge wager. Wager. <laughs> wager. Major wager. I'm gonna. Wager. I'm gonna. Wager. He's like Major remembering wager. movies where like the kid destroys the house <laughs> with a huge party, and then every <laughs> time no one shows up. I love that band, uh, Major Wager. <laughs> like, Dude, Dude, we're 32. I don't want to drink cold or warm beer at your parents' house. Uh, his all of his parties also look like, uh. Bay's vlogs as gaming rooms. <laughs> yeah. The flashing LEDs and shit. Oh god. I love people's I can't believe parents' nice houses get LEDs in there for the party. Woo! I can't believe Faze Vlogs did a reaction to his own past vlogs about his That's setups. It insane. kills me. 40 and then you look at his too. gaming clips and it's him losing to bots over and over again, and his mic is always muted. It's crazy. The I have, gaming clips are frustrating. Uh, I have no I want temptation. His computer. He has a better processor than me. I, I never have the temptation to like reply to like any freak posts or YouTube videos, mm-hmm. except for this motherfucker, man. He is so tilting to me. And if anyone doesn't know, it's uh this like guy that really wants to be a pro gamer, but he sucks. We like watched him on our last Sunday night stream and we have like a edited version of it on Patreon right now. Um but He's playing Fortnite, and he's like, he really wants to be a gamer. Like, he has a better set, like, computer than Alex. He has all these LEDs going. Uh, he has, like, really expensive gear, but his fucking... He isn't using the right audio source on his mic, so it's just, like, picking up his webcam, and it's echoing somehow, like, the Tazon Day video. And he's playing Build Fortnite, and he is, like, in really low skill-based matchmaking. And the stream is titled... On the Fortnite grind. And for anyone mm-hmm. that doesn't know, Fortnite just released like a ranked mode, just like you have in Siege and CSGO mm-hmm. and whatever. And you would think that grind would imply that you're doing... No, he's just playing pubs. And mm-hmm. oh, once again, this is build Fortnite. He, he had 1,200 mats. And then he's just standing in an empty field, jumping up and down, like trading shotgun shots at a guy. And he gets killed like in the 50-50 because he didn't build. And then he starts screaming, you fucking pussy. I'm going to add this kid. Come here. Get this fucking pussy. Like, fuck this guy. Fuck this. And like freaking the hell out when he had like. Loser. He had so many opportunities to not put himself in that situation. And then like his, his buddy comes and like kills the guy. And he's like, you still get me up. You can still get me up. Like, Come on. Go like, go get me in storm. And he, so he sends his buddy into storm and like di- he dies to storm damage and they lose the game. <laughs> So like two guys that are just like hanging out and they're like, these guys only had two fucking kills. They fuck us. Oh, I'm going to add these guys too. And it's like, bro, I'm going to add these guys. You are so bad. Like not you're only does your personality suck, them? like you, you're not good at Fortnite. So it's like, he's watched toxic Fortnite streamers. And mm-hmm. it's like, that is what I want to be. But without the mm-hmm. like being very good at the game stuff. And it just, it was so offensive to me that I wanted to just like start commenting and saying like, you're trash kid, dog water. <laughs> I Why did leave build? a comment on one of his videos where I think it was the same one. It was about like a one v one with a kid. <laughs> it was like really a really toxic thumbnail with the red and yellow text and speech bubbles and stuff. And I think it was videoshot.net. There was a watermark video bolt. for <laughs> videobolt.net. <laughs> bolt. The worst fucking intro of all time for a kid who's been doing this for like seven years and has all these all this shit. And he's rebranded his channel over and over again, and he's using a free intro that's in like 360p. And I just commented, created with videobolt.net, and he deleted it. (laughs) I saw that it was deleted, and then I went back like uh, 
30 minutes later to check something and the comments were closed. <laughs> uh, so it's just, I don't know how you even survive like that. Just walking. It's like walking down the street naked and you just, you've been doing that for years. And then someone notices like, Hey, that guy's naked. Like, what the fuck is going on? Up. They're like, Oh, why is everyone mad? It's like, the, I don't know. I know what you I, mean. Out I in the open, think... clearly being shit, just clearly being like the most, uh, like toxic but aggro now, gamer Alex, you can be. Send him on just... his I have haters arc. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna love start it. fucking making up haters in his head all the time now. Like, it's, just... oh, it's amazing that he hasn't encountered someone being mean at all before. Because no one's encountered his channel. <laughs> I guess, exactly. Yeah, he's just been out in the open with no feedback at all. Not building, and, getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not building his channel. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been like uh, six years of this stuff. He moved out of his parents' house to be a pro gamer at the gamer house, then had to move back home. And then I think he did it again, and then had to move back home again. And he's still putting all of but, his... Like, he's got a new setup every time he moves, and like every video update. And I said it before, but I believe... So he lives in Nebraska, and with the amount of money that he spent to move to a place, rent places, move back home buy new stuff, move away again, move back home, move away again, his move to Denver or whatever, buying all his equipment, his monitors, his PS5, his PC. He could have put a down payment on a fucking house. Or he punched through monitors, Nebraska, by the way. In Nebraska? He said that? Like, he, that's going to be so cheap. Yep. He did punch a few of those monitors, too. Is very cool when you're that bad. It's at a amazing. Game. It's a it's the perfect type of guy. It's like the same category of guy that all of our guys are in mm -hmm. mostly. Is people <laughs> who want to be famous. Worded. They want. <laughs> They'll find a losing pubs and punch your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. They they want to be famous. They want attention, but they don't want to get good at anything or be charismatic or funny. And uh, if you tell them like, hey, you be you got to be good at something, or you got to be funny, or you got to at least edit your videos or do the bare minimum. They're like, fuck you. I'm going to keep doing the exact same thing with the exact same results forever and sinking money into it over and over. Yeah, again. he's the perfect guy for those fucking like the streamer kits. They sell for like $300. Yeah. Where it's like a microphone, a mouse, <laughs> yeah, fucking he, ring light. He should be buying all that shit from like five below. Like the Booga collection that's like $10 for like a ring light and like a, <laughs> a mouse that glows. Because like he doesn't need anything more than that because he sucks at everything he's fucking doing. Yeah. But instead he's like, well, I got to have the best equipment and let me go. Let me Google. What's the most expensive mouse? All right, let me what buy do, that. What does what what millionaires use? Yeah, what is, <laughs> what it's what is really funny. Use? It's really funny to be 25 and see like a Booga thing at the store. It's like, oh my God, Booga uses this? I look up to Booga. A literal <laughs> child is in high school. It's awesome. But yeah, good for Booga. And it, like, yeah, I don't know how you look up to streamers like that. Like he looks up to Clicks, who I think just turned 18. And he, it, like, I don't know he how you're 25 and you're just, com you, you can't kill a bot in pubs. And you're like, I, I'm going to be exactly like these kids who are, like, at the level I want to be and are a decade younger than me. And are like, it's obviously not the peak of doing that either. Like, they all kind of, like, hate it, but mm -hmm. just do it because they, like, don't want to, uh, they have, like, um, what would you say? Uh, Robin Hood. Not Robin Hood. The other one. Peter Pan. <laughs> They're both and great Robin guys. Hood, they're, they're stealing <laughs> from their subs. Robin Hood doesn't want to grow up. He keeps stealing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like there, there's like kind of been a split amongst like Fortnite's like big content creators, especially like, the younger kids that are making a lot of money in competitive. Where like half of them are like, I'm gonna go to university and pay for it with my earnings and like start a real life. Like you obviously can't be just playing Fortnite on Twitch forever, mm -hmm. and then. There's, I'm going to play Fortnite on Twitch forever and, and buy Bitcoin and, and NFTs and get rich that way. And I mean, varying results, yeah, I think. I don't know. Like, I, I think about the games that I played when I was 16, like TF2, and I'm not playing that now. And it would yeah. suck if I had to play TF2 now because it was like the thing I was tied to brand wise. Yeah. And, and this, like, to. there's so few Fortnite streamers that, like, um, have been able That's to pivot to I different games. The, the guys who are stuck on Warzone still. Yeah. Oof. 
Ugh. Who's watching Warzone still? A lot of people. Yeah. Really? It's, Call of Duty. it's from Call of yeah, Duty. Yeah, I guess so. Like, <laughs> it still does pretty well. I just like yeah, never see will. anything like on Twitter or anything. So maybe it's like outside of my like yeah, scope. I, mean, I know Koa still that. plays. Yeah, Koa loves it. I mean, he hates it, but he still plays. <laughs> yeah. It's a very dull looking game. I need bright colors I, and I need ninja I, skins. I always enjoyed it, but it runs like fucking garbage. Yeah, and it runs it's like very garbage large. And there's yeah. uh, like cheaters. It's it was very fun, but and that too the just, fucking updating every three days with giant files. Yeah, like it just it sucked to like I didn't have it on my PC because it made my PC run like shit. And so I was like, well, I'll just fucking play an Xbox. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's just Call of Duty. The thing with a game like that, especially if it's free and you want people to get into a battle royale. You have to make it run on all computers. Yeah. It can't be, like, you can't be asking people to get a new computer to play a free game with their friends. But I guess it it makes a lot of money anyway, because yeah. how can they not make money with a Call of Duty game? But I think a lot more people would play it if they just, I don't know, made the graphics a little worse and made it so it was under 500 well, gigabytes for The thing for an is, update. like, even the graphics, yeah. like, I mean, setting them lower doesn't help. Like, nothing helps. It's just... The game itself is just so fucking big. It's it's crazy. And it just yeah, runs. Yeah, the map is big. Yeah, just everything is big. And the maps, but it's like, and it was so fun to play at times, but yeah. at the same time, like, as soon as I stopped playing it, I had zero interest in coming back to it. Absolutely True. zero. It, it is one of those games where you just forget about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already forgot about it. Because we, we played it for a whole year plus mm -hmm. every Wednesday. I, like, haven't been on Twitch that much as, like, a viewer or whatever. Like, I'll, like, mm -hmm. watch, like, people I follow streams and, like, click on it, especially if I see, like, a Twitter link sometimes. But, like, mm -hmm. they've completely changed their UI, which it looks like they're trying to, like, get more discoverability or whatever. Like, it's, here's shooter games and here's role-playing games. And it's not just, like, games by category. But, like, I mm -hmm. wanted to, like, scroll through and, like, click by, like, most popular, like, titles or whatever. Nope. If you, I mean, there's the, still the browse. Yeah. Yeah, it looks the same to me. Really? Valorant My, is the top game. Then yeah. Minecraft, then GTA. Just chatting. Yeah. Oh, wow, weird. Is, yeah. Okay. No, I got it now. Warzone's way down, but Modern Warfare is. Oh yeah. Is Warzone part of Modern Warfare? Yeah, they would just they would do the same thing. Yeah. Like. I Didn't they have like just so. they only had they just had like Raven or whoever staying on that though, right? Like one yeah. studio instead of like changing that one every year. It's yeah, just one team on Warzone. So I guess it depends on how you label your streams. Oh, like yeah. I always put it. I never put Warzone. I always put like Call of Duty or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, just, as long as you put Call really of Duty, it. It bro. A, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's a separate category now for zero build Fortnite. Oh, for Is real? There? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Huh? Yeah, I'm seeing Warzone now. Thirty nine thousand viewers. Yeah, and then Call of Duty has a hundred, but yeah. there also there's like a major event happening right now. Okay, cool. So. Uh, and I think the same with uh, Valorant, if I'm remembering correctly. Zelda has they've... fewer viewers than Car for Sale Simulator 2023. Mm -hmm. I guess Zelda sucks. Uh, it's because no, it's because oh, XQC. Oh, it's just because XQC has it open. I just found it. There's, that, yeah. yeah, there's 500 like not 59,000. Yeah, viewers, it's like 99 percent. One guy. <laughs> so yeah, like, but also Zelda. I was going to say like I haven't heard any lower... buzz about this game. It's lower viewers for Zelda, though, because uh, people still don't want spoilers or whatever. At least that's yeah, how it was yeah. for, like, the release. Not so a lot much of people yeah, when I streamed it, it. When I yeah. streamed it, people were like, I'm, this looks awesome, but I can't, like, watch because yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want anything spoilers. And I didn't even do any spoiler stuff Definitely one of those than, games. Like, the intro. People are yeah, like, but even just seeing stuff for the first time. Yeah. But then, like, as you play it, then you're, you're going to want to watch people because you're like, oh, I didn't even think I could do that. Because it's really, it's so fucking good. It's so fun. Yeah, it's made for some Everything great clips. Added. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can build tanks and stuff. Max tanks. It looks pretty insane. Anything. Yeah. It's, I mean, there, it's just like no shortage of stuff you can do. Someone and built the chair from the Burn things. After Reading with the big dick that goes up and down. <laughs> yep. They did that in like the first day. <laughs> yeah. The first also, day someone made like a little big ant, statue with like a burning dick. Little Ant 100%ed it uh, yesterday in 138 okay. hours. Total. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. That's just so much. That's too much. Because I never... There's no reason There's like 140 to side quests. Yeah, there's more than that because one of the side quests, and the same with Breath of the Wild, is there's little, little guys called Koroks, and you have to find mm -hmm. all their seeds. 
And there's 900 mm-hmm. in the game in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I don't know how many. His... I assume it's 900 as well. I it might be lower because I think he showed all of his stacks of shit and it wasn't that okay. much. But all the shit he collected 100% was crazy. Yeah. Like every, it's... every blueprint and everything. It's so and, fast to do that. Uh, like a, an open world game like that, you can sort of, you, you can understand wanting to 100% it if it's just like your game that you play to chill out, where mm-hmm. you just go around the world and do all the quests. And That's just like, his, con- that guy's content. Get lost it's like in it. yeah. completionist, is right unreleased type guy. Yeah, but doing it in two weeks seems insane to me. Like you would, I would hate the game, I think. My eyes would well, hurt. That's, no, because now what, that guy uh, will just start speed running and shit. Well, that's what speedrunners do. They all hate the game because they're True. like, <laughs> they're, they get this like high of reaching the new speed run. And then the rest of the time playing it is just like, fuck, fuck, I missed, fuck, I missed, I, I missed that, fuck. fuck. Yeah, it's SM- a problem to be solved. All the time. That's SM64 speedrunners, even more mm-hmm. than Minecraft. Oh, absolutely. The Minecraft one's hilarious because mm-hmm. the, the force and XQC back and forth where Every time they beat each other's record, the, the other person's community realizes they're only going to be playing Minecraft for months now, and they're all just like... <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft is... It, there's, so, uh, there's so much RNG in it. Mm-hmm. Doing mm-hmm. a speed run. That's it, why they do like, uh, the 16 seed generators. Yeah, they, you have to start with the same seed, but even then, the chances that you're going to sink, like... I don't know. They have it down to, what, 20 minutes or something? Or I think it's like 11 now or total. 11 or minutes? 15. But most of the time, it's like, it's more than that. You're doing it over mm-hmm. and over again, and then getting to like minute eight. I'm and too then much just because of RNG. To be a speed runner, man. <laughs> like, yeah, I just like I you don't have to... care enough to learn every little like thing. In yeah, it'd be it. different <laughs> if I grew up with the N64, probably. But I just like I've said it before. I could probably beat SM64 just because I've watched so many speed runs. Just beating, I could probably beat it normally, like <laughs> one of my first tries. But I never had that game. Or N64. I think a lot of people who speedrun those games didn't have it. Well, the speedrunners like, now are so young that they just, they couldn't have had it. They had to grow yeah. up and start playing it. Yeah, it's so much easier with an emulator. Some, they, they only started playing it like a year ago. It's crazy. How does that it work? It really doesn't matter if you did play it forever. Those people are getting smoked. Uh, so Nintendo's super litigious, right? How do they mm-hmm. feel about their like the speedrunners? Because you'd think it would happen with emulators, right? Like, it has to. Yeah, but also, like, I mean, the game's out, like, because you could do it, like, there's the emulator on the actual Switch, and then they mm-hmm. released the, uh, like, Mario All-Stars, like, a couple years ago, which had, like, sixty four uh, Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. More than likely, they're, of course, emulating on their PC, yeah, like, but yeah. you just kind of don't Is, is there that. nothing, then, like, in the fucking speedrun community about, like... These are the parameters that you have to play in, or can you just use like any input you want, and just so long as it's like not, not really, safe stated, also, but like like we always you know, the speed running is one of those communities where what are you gonna do? Cheat? They're gonna figure it out so quick. Like yeah, those fuckers go frame by frame on. Yeah, they are just waiting to find. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're looking at every little I pixel. Mean, it ain't even like, worth Ooh, it. that's a slightly different shade of blue. Yeah, they they know when someone's cheating like immediately because it just looks so different. It looks so like just messed up and like people catch on to that usually pretty quickly i assume what they do is they do a hash check on the rom Mm -hmm. or something like that there must be some way to verify it that it's not like a a hacked rom yeah Yeah. they must have figured out these problems i'm sure there's some records out there right now that are not legit because there's just you know they figured some shit out but they'll get found out there's all there's there's always a way for someone to figure it out where like that rocket league guy that was that was the craziest Guy that was going back and editing the actual game files to make his replays sick and shit. What? Oh, yeah. and then zooming <laughs> around them and stuff. Oh yeah, god! Like, getting caught with that's insane. <laughs> what a so much work. Stupid ass <laughs> thing to do. It's you're the becoming same like, as, like a three D modeler just to yeah. You're not even make playing the game. Cool. So it's like what the fuck. Bro learned a career to cheat. <laughs> no, I think he was already like a dev, but crazy. That's just a, what's I just don't get that. It's the same to like me. You said, it's like so much the, fucking work back, instead of just practicing. It was Rocket yeah. League, which the, the top level players are insane, but mm-hmm. holy, just play it. They just get good. Who cares? People get so like they get that's like the one thing they have in their life is that they're really good at this game. And then they're like they, someone else is better. And they're like, fuck, 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 fuck. I'll do whatever I can to get it back. Whenever a good GeoGuessr player gets caught cheating. 
or at least assumed cheating. They don't make it subtle enough, whatever. It's always because they've sort of hit a plateau and some people are getting better and they're just like, mm -hmm. Ooh, They're mad I, about I it. I can't lose my... It's all ego for the fucking nerdiest game in the world. And they're usually <laughs> like... Was... They're usually literally teenagers that are doing it, but... Billy Mitchell yeah, with the joystick. Donkey Kong. Yep. That guy beat him and he, he couldn't take it. So he well, had to cheat. I think he didn't cheat. Oh, uh, allegedly. This is all alleged <laughs> according to the King of Kong. He, I don't agree with it. He didn't cheat at all. What are the allegations, though? Like, I'm not... Well, now there he was, actually um... got busted. He, he got actually fucking busted, like, a month and a half ago. Yeah, there, there was a... Like, it was a joystick where you could move eight directions instead of four. But there wasn't a picture of the unit until... And, yeah, until last month, there was no pictures yeah. of when the record was, like, actually mm. done. Like, the, the unit, but then somebody found them from the same day. And you can clearly mm -hmm. see it was this long red stick that was the eight-way instead of the four-way. That's such a cool so thing to, like, be passionate insanely, about. <laughs> and yeah, that's insanely, it, uh, The arcade dude, guys. Yeah, that's why I like uh, the Carl Jobes type videos, because I learned all this shit about speedrunner lore and cheaters and shit for games I never will care about, but it's still fun. Mm -hmm. King of Kong is good. I think, like, Beyond the Arcade or something like that, there's one like that. They're all on YouTube. And it's so bleak to see these old guys. They're like 50 years old and they're all reliving the heyday of being a 16 year old who was good at an arcade machine. And then they all like, they all get found out to be cheaters. And it's such like, a short period of time uh, to make your identity, too. It's like being a guy in the military for four years. Yeah. It's like games. There was a video game crash in 1983. That's the thing. It's all these like space invaders. No one cares about space invaders. If it was NES, at least, that's, um, it has it's at least. Emo it has an emoji, That's so... True. That is true. I think they do. That is true. But there, I mean, it's all guys like Robozoid, but who are actually, like, good at the games. Yeah, Robozoid's just a remember. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he, he remembers being good at the games, but never got past World but 1. It's like one. franchises that people don't talk about and machines you don't see, and... It, it's cool. They're I mean, all like stuck there forever because of when they but grew even, up. But even... Say you go to, like, a barcade or, like, a place that has, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, emulator with all those games on it. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Like, it's a quarter. Let's go play that. You play Space Invaders. You die. And you go, well, I don't need to play that again for, like, two more years. I'm yep. good. Yeah, that's what 99% of people did with those games. It was a thing where you played it a couple times like you would with pinball or something else, mm -hmm. like ski ball. You didn't uh, make it your whole life because it wasn't really was designed so for fun. I, I love ski ball. I would have gone. Games were designed for that. Yeah, definitely. I cheated at ski ball. Yeah. How dare you? Like you, Alex, walking up, putting in the hundred, <laughs> putting in the one fifty. I would just put my head in there. <laughs> they would think it was the ball, and then would pull my head out. Oh, wow. put it back in. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I remember watching a kid. I was like ten years old, so the age where you should at least be good at whack a mole at like Chuck E. Cheese because it's for <laughs> even littler kids. I remember mm -hmm. watching my friend that was my age just being dog shit at it. I'm like, are you are you trolling? Like, I remember thinking, like, is he serious? <laughs> Fucking is slowest reaction time ever, man. For somebody that's pretty to athletic. Go, that'd be funny to go to Chuck E. Cheese now and be bad at all the games. Vince? <laughs> like, being, yeah. Being in your 30s and, like, not being able to throw football through, like, a ring. And not being that's good so at funny thing about two guy that, like, shows up and is throwing, like, fucking NFL-type pass, and it's just twanging off the... <laughs> bounces across the restaurant. Hits a pizza. The one game, the one game where the light's going around, you have to, like, hit it in the middle and Fucking you, smashing you, it. You just... You keep, like, <laughs> hitting it when it's on the other side of you. <laughs> Asking your friends to go to Dave and Buster's over and over again, and they finally agree to do it because it's your birthday or something, or, like, your dog died, and then you go and you play one game, and then you get so pissed off, you start fucking kicking the machine and shit. <laughs> just having a complete <laughs> break. Wait, wait, dude, I know you're really upset about your dog dying. You want to go to Dave and Buster's and play whack a mole with me to cheer you up? Honestly, yeah. yeah my dog exactly used to like, like chasing moles around the yard. Or someone would do. Well, they wouldn't leave the house. Hey, bud, you want to get some Timmy's? I know you're You want to get some cigarettes? You, you want a DoorDash and Dave and Buster's? You want to smoke? You want to smoke? That, that DoorDash and Dave and Buster's dinner. I I would always pretend to do that during the pandemic, like, and because I lived kind of close to one, and I would just look at the menu on the DoorDash, and be like, "Oh damn, I miss Dave and Buster so much." <laughs> uh, I remember people. God. I remember people DoorDashing popcorn to watch their movie yeah. with at home, and it's like from the movie theater. Kate, and it's like Kate twenty four dollars for a large popcorn. <laughs> yeah, it like sucks Cineplex when they enable it on places where they really shouldn't. Yeah, let me get my popcorn 
25 minutes later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> it's you. cold popcorn. Thank mm. you. When they have, like, Instacart for Dollar Tree, like, that's just not what yeah. it's for. Just getting a, one pack of Junior Mints for $11. <laughs> <laughs> that's what GoPuff mm. is. <laughs> Just getting like one thing of snacks. And be like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. I need one little bag of chips. I needed $12. some. I need some blue blue sour punch straws. I'm good now. <laughs> I, I was gonna die. And I didn't I love, feel like driving. I, I love being able to pause. These. I love being able to pause the movie and go to the bathroom whenever I want. But I miss the movie theater food. <laughs> I just missed the movie theater food. Waiting waiting to turn on my movie while my movie theater popcorn gets delivered. Imagine you're like with all your friends and you're all fucked up in like another city and you're in the hotel room and everyone's giving you their DoorDash order and then it shows up and it's just blue, sour blue, blue crazy, uh, sour blue straw, punch straws. That's Michael, it. that like, fucking, that picture you posted. A carton of milk. <laughs> that picture you posted yesterday of the bad kid candy. Yeah. That is yeah. like so on the nose. <laughs> What's yeah. the bad kid candy? Go oh, look at it. It's like it, uh, the slime liquors and yeah, like gumballs. Like when you get six little mini gumballs in one plastic the container. The stuff that's like the warhead chapstick, but it's not really warhead. It's just like dust mm -hmm. you pour on your tongue and burn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was at, anything that was gonna like hurt your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the gas station after work yesterday, and I like I'd forgotten my water bottle, so I was just very thirsty, and so I, I tried the Logan Paul Prime, mm. uh, because damn. Damned if I'm going to be paying money for bottled water, but I will pay it for a nice lemon lime Gatorade ripoff with only 20 calories. That was good. And I, like, I wanted some candy too. And the only candy I could find in the fucking store was the bad kid candy. I was like <laughs> stressing out. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to get a fun dippers or whatever. And then like, thank <laughs> God there were, some, there were some fu fuzzy peaches at the till. So it, it, it worked out in the end, but, uh, Stressful. It would be funny to only get that stuff for trick or treaters because you live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> like, I live in a bad neighborhood, so I only get like uh, warheads and that kind of shit. I only hand out candies with like red five and yellow seven in it. <laughs> yeah, I want to make, make their ADHD worse. Yeah, I want to make all their kids fucking freak out. That's the thing I learned this week. Apparently, the red dye is bad for ADHD. Yeah, wow. I've already known that for years because somehow these homeschooler witch moms would be like, ooh, this guy, this guy, and this guy makes my kid do this. I'm like, that's bullshit. And then he'd get it and he'd be like, <laughs> well, I was, I was eyeing up the red Gatorade being like, I'm going to misbehave later if I drink this. 33-year-old yeah. man. Man, that, that oh, homeschool no, 19 kid year old to that, being, like that. that homeschool kid thing being like going crazy if they have like a little bit of sugar so true yeah it's so <laughs> all annoying. the homeschool kids that would come to like because i went to catholic school and so we would always have to do like you know like a retreat during school or whatever and any of the kids that were homeschooled but like were a part of the church would like come along with us and yeah you'd have to do like, your ccd still for like confirmation and shit yeah with all the exactly regular, the norms the normals and then they show they show up and they don't know anyone and they don't know how to interact with anyone so they like hang out near the teachers but then they get like a Mountain Dew in them and just start like won't shut the fuck up, just bouncing off the wall, going well, crazy. That's like, what is wrong that was, with this? That was me with I know, but it's just like getting sugar. That was me without yeah. the caffeine. But I I already worked with like adults that were twice my age at that point, mm -hmm. so I I was able to like interact with kids my age as well, even though I was homeschooled. I remember my confirmation class being like, seeing kids Lincoln Park trip being like, yeah, Lincoln Park, be the best. And he was fucking more awkward than me. He's like, ugh, like Beavis. <laughs> <He's laughs> style. Every, almost everyone in that class was like way bi a bigger dork than like than me. Mm -hmm. But I remember being such a fucking nerd, like writing a. They had these little like workbooks, and there was one where you had to write a short essay before you could leave one day about a different religion. And I wrote about the Coptic Orthodox in Africa and how they have churches underground and shit. And it was like front page and back page with really nice handwriting. I turned it in like still before everybody else was done with shit. Such a, that was the most nerd shit. She called my mom to be like, this was so beautifully written. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. We, Andrew and I knew homeschoolers that still avoided dyes well into their 20s. Damn. They still have they to thought they were going to fucking <laughs> like, even wrap true? their Is... car around a pole or something. Is that based on anything? Their moms. I heard it is. Yeah. Know. Or is it an old wives' tale? It probably well, it was sugar like, and caffeine. Yeah, yellow five was like, oh, you're gonna lower your sperm count. And I remember being like, good, 12 and being like, oh, damn. You, you know, that, <laughs> it was crazy. the Mountain Dew thing, and they're like, it lowers your sperm count. And every fucking second and third grader I knew was like, well, we can't drink it. If you lowers your sperm count, then you're gay. Yeah. <laughs>
I got no sperms left. <laughs> what is well, the mechanism that, though, for that? Real right, quick, man. back to the homeschoolers going wild. Andrew and I once took a, we were with the, the, the youth group going on a, a pro-life bus trip to, uh, to D.C. Imagine all these fucking homeschoolers buying the cocaine energy drink. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fucking most annoying bus ride ever. That was one where the kid got on the bus and immediately took a fucking stinky dog shit in the back back bathroom <laughs> before we're even moving. It's like dog. You just got on the bus to take a motherfucking shit. You are a homeschooler. <laughs> we're, it was a chartered bus. We hadn't started moving yet, and he went straight to the back bathroom and took a big shit. Like he held it in for like all nasty day. fucker. Like, That's yeah. what Scotty oh. Ellen Day does when he gets to work on the bus. No, he just smells like that. <laughs> he goes to the back. Well, he he does, but he, was he goes the to the back and takes the stinky ass shit, then comes back to the front. <laughs> he was the same type of kid smells. that would go to like the uh, the homeschool dances because we'd have like the homecoming and prom and shit too, which were actually those are cool events. They're mm -hmm. well done, but he'd be like the kid that can actually break dance, but no one's fucking looking. He's over in the corner like, and no one's looking at all. So awesome. I I did a little Google. I'm on WebMD right now, and uh, in 2007, like the, the UK's Food Standards Agency, which I assume is their FDA, did a study on 300 kids. Um, there was uh, groups of eight and nine year olds, and they were given three types of beverages to drink. Then their behavior was nice. evaluated by teachers and parents. So oh, one drink had like ooh. yellow dyes. I don't know. There, there's like four dyes in one drink, and another four dyes in another, and then there's a fucking placebo. And they found that uh, the kids that had the ones containing artificial colors were more hyperactive. But like, that's like it's up to the teacher's perception, right? So like, how much would that really yeah. affect it? And like, were they just drinking water like with like dyes in it, or was there other shit in it too? Is it like? Here's yeah. different like Gatorades and here's a Jolt Cola or whatever. That is Let's not good. Like I want to, I want like people to take a bunch of the red dye and snort it or inject it or whatever. Obviously like Devin, not enough to Devin kill you, but it. like, why aren't people using it to get high if it makes you hyper? Devin can try it. Well, like, people like, will snort just... Wellbutrin in prison because it's like the closest thing you can get to meth or Adderall. Yeah. So they would I be doing dye if, like... if it was if it so made it... you hyper. It affects people with like ADHD. I wonder, like, if they think it like affects like anybody using like Adderall or something. But if it only affects people with ADHD, maybe it's just that they have ADHD. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's probably it's also probably like, oh man, all the yellow it's, five in this mountain dew is making my like, like eight year old son being crazy. <laughs> it's making his spine go had down. Eight mountain dews today. The kids yeah. who go They're crazy mode after having fucking... red dye, they're ruining it for everyone. The kids who have a sugar rush and go yeah. yee and run around and knock stuff over, they ruined it for everybody. Two sips of wine and punch and immediately fucking start slapping their grandma. Mom's not buying high C anymore because of what you did. Because you had to be hyper, and you climbed on the back of the couch, and you broke your ankle. Kid walking out with his fucking fun dippers and his his eight eight foot long cow tail candy from Dave and Buster's. <laughs> and he got, already got a Kool Aid mustache, and he's just fucking I, a Kool Aid mustache like, and a milk mustache at just the same the, time. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his bad kid candy. He's got just candy like cigarettes. The, the Kool Aid lips, where it's just like all over. It's like there's just a ring. Yeah, like, he doesn't know how to their, drink out of they a take cup. Their yeah. giant, it's because kids always pick the giant, like, novelty cups that come with this, pizzas. This big yeah, cup, Yeah, like that. Right? And then they go <laughs> and give themselves a the fucking, the red goatee. Then you get the Kool-Aid unibrow because of the, the top ring in the cup. There was, a, there was another kid we knew that always had that fucking, the, like, the full, like, the Joker smile because he'd drink his cup like that. And he, he'd also spit when he'd talk, so his name was Isaac, and we'd call him Plyzik, like with a PL. Plyzik, because he'd always spit. Plyzik. Too many plosives. Oh, that's so cruel, but he was also like just a little kid compared to us, so he didn't really hear it. Yeah. Plyzik. Uh, he's doing really well. The, the, Instead of behind his back, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. The Cleveland Clinic says that mm -hmm. some studies show a link between dyes and increased ADHD or hyperactivity in children, mm -hmm. and other studies show an improvement behavior when they're removed, but still research is needed, more research, so it's like inconclusive. But apparently some countries have banned them, but it hasn't said, it doesn't say which. It makes my kid a little freak, and he runs around, and he's loud. Band but it is interesting, race. because how... It makes my like son look like he's point, smaller than he is. <laughs> I wonder how they're, like, administrating it. Like, is it just the dye? Like, it's, they just inject the dye? And then, or is it like, you know, it's like, a, 
okay, a water with just a dye in it. I don't know. It's weird. Huh. It has to it's be the actual chemical. It's banned in Austria and Norway. I like you can't put it in a like, drink. I like to think it's like the egg painting kits, like the little color pills that you put in the water, mm -hmm. but they just have the kids eat it. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, should just be it's... a powder that they give all the kids, and some of it has the dye. Or like of, they, it's what, in a that's capsule why that's or bad something. kid candy. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, they're testing that on the bad kids. Yeah, that's like, how they invented it from the, Pop, the candy test. Ronald Reagan gave, brought Pop Rocks to the street. That was him. <laughs> that was his he loved jelly beans. He put <laughs> Ronald Reagan put bad kid candy in uh, stores. Yeah, Crack Rock and Pop Rocks. That's crazy. Oh, uh, Pop Rocks. That is, that's like that is bad kid candy because you try to mix it with soda. I love when. You find that out, and your first thought as a kid is like, oh, let me mix this candy with soap. Let me go fucking uh, crazy right now. Let me bro, make sure that my are... parents don't buy me this stuff anymore by ruining it. I had friends that want to drink, like, uh, Diet diet Coke with, with Mentos after seeing what the bottle does. Oh, like, yeah. Dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're doing that above a certain age, if you're, like, 17, you're like, what if we mix Diet Coke with Mentos? Like, just go drink the soda. Beer. Go get beer. Go do something else. <laughs> Someone already did this on YouTube. The last time we did that, we literally walked to the store to buy it. It was last week. <laughs> when I was like probably grade six, I had a friend over and we decided what we wanted to do was like chug root beer from a funnel. And so we got like two <laughs> root beer. Yeah, we got two two liters of root beer and just like drank him from a funnel and like fucking I don't think we That's threw so up, funny. but it was like bubbling out of us. And I'm like, why do I feel so bad? Because I was like too young to have like wanted to drink beer yet, but we wanted to do something mm -hmm. like shitty and chug from a funnel because we watched like American Pie or something. I want to feel bad Ugh. and throw up. It reminds me of the story that Patrick had about listening to the Who live at Leeds and then smoking a, like grass from outside and printer <laughs> paper. God. And his mom catching it. Like, it's just not even psychoactive at all. It's just, just the, the act of doing what, it. What's, like, the, what's the weirdest thing your mom caught you doing? Don't say jacking off. Is there, mm -hmm. there's, did you guys have, like, a thing like that? Because I thought of one. I no. didn't really get caught doing anything Mine wasn't like technically that, jacking no. off, but it was definitely the analog gooning where my brother, older brother and I had all the fucking Playboys opened across yeah. the room at the same time. Oh, yeah, you talked about yeah. that with the, yeah. your dad's stash. And yeah. You guys looted it. When I was Poorly like, hidden. <laughs> Probably like 13, 14, 15, somewhere in that range. My mom like fucking crammered into my room as I was <laughs> lighting my armpit hair on fire with a lighter. <laughs> oh, can't I talk wanted, that. Wanted to well, see she probably shaves happen. hers, so how is that any different? <laughs> and I, I like, I don't Stinks. know why, but I was like, hmm, I wonder what will happen if I do this. And uh, I did it, and it fucking smelled awful because it, it was will like, smell mm -hmm. bad. it yeah. was like worse, the mix of deodorant than and then also oh. burning hair. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah, it's like mercury or whatever, <laughs> magnesium, and titanium. Aluminum. Oh yeah, aluminum isn't that the, the the big one? Aluminium, that... aluminium. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I never, I never did any like stuff like that that I can think of that anybody walked in on. No, you had that, that friend shit... that blew his face up, so he didn't fuck with fire. Yeah, if I well, yeah, and then like that was my brother would do stuff like that. Like we after he, I want to say like he moved into a the bigger room at our parents' house uh, when I was, like, a senior, because he was younger, and I was like, I don't fucking feel like moving my shit so you can have that room. And uh, we were repainting his uh, wall in, like, his old room, and he just has all these dents in it. And it was from him just... He bought a BB gun and was just shooting the wall <laughs> in, in his room. And then this one time, um, my mom was, like, sitting out on the deck and just hears, like, ping! 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 And she looks up, and he pulled out the screen and is shooting his BB gun at the tree in the backyard. Oh and God. she was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, nothing. So he Dumb did fuck. all that shit all the and time. And those are metal like, BBs that are all over we, the yard. Uh, yeah. We used to have this place. I'm sure they were everywhere, but we had the um, 94 cent store because 6% would round mm. up to a dollar. Mm -hmm. They were all over the place. But I From now this back one, today. We were in Illinois, <laughs> and I had a... It worked out for me that I was really into bugs, so it was never sus that I was buying magnifying glasses or magnifying sheets. But I remember mm -hmm. my neighbor one day caught me with, like, this log, and I was doing this thing that I would do where I'd sit in the sun with my magnifying sheet and just draw stuff on, like, wood with the burning. It was cool. Mm -hmm. And he came up and, like, saw it, and he's like, that's awesome. And he goes, but very dangerous. And walked away. <laughs> we right, do that man. with a soldering iron. I didn't have one of those. I was eight. 
Uh, just do it well, you know, I'm going to go back in time and give you one. <laughs> Buying a magnifying glass at the store and telling the cashier, I am really, really not into bugs. <laughs> I really do not like ants. I really did I like starting. Hate it. I hate bees. I, I was never like I an arsonist. Crickets. I was just like starting little like campfires with a magnifying mm -hmm. glass and immediately putting it out. Yeah, like it's fun. And as long as you're not doing anything too bad. But yeah, like I had that friend that burned himself up like super bad. And so like in, after like seventh grade, we're like, well. Fire's not as cool as you thought it was, because you can actually get really hurt. Alex, yeah. Tim, can I borrow your glasses to start a fire? <laughs> <laughs> Did we talk about lighting stuff on fire with magnifying glasses on the last episode with Chet? Probably. Um, <laughs> I, don't like, I think it organically think so. came up two in a row. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> but uh... Yeah, I remember at the, after the fappening, I went outside and <laughs> <laughs> started lighting stuff on fire. I had fire. to kill some ants. <laughs> I was trying to look at, at your small, <laughs> trying to look at your micro penis with a magnifying glass outside, <laughs> and it's no, you hear like inside, <laughs> like the morning sun, yeah, <laughs> like by the window. Like what's what's that smell? Oh, ow! Oh, ow. Burning all your pubes off. <laughs> That'd be such a fucking like dipshit thing. You have like a really rare bug, and you're trying to look at it, and the sun starts burning while you're not looking. <laughs> you you burn like a hole at your book. <laughs> You burn a hole in your computer monitor because you're holding up a magnifying glass trying to see Jennifer Lawrence's tits better. Awesome. <laughs> Try, trying to see Kate Upton's ass because it's so small for to Justin's. I am burning on my TV. Husband. Fuck. That's such a dipshit thing. Well, here's something we positive I wanted, to, your car. I wanted to highlight this positive thing. Okay. We got a really nice uh, YouTube comment today on the uh, for once the Tom's uh, Burger King Impossible Whopper review, saying Tom, okay. this is from June's Two K shout out. Tom, some thanks to you and the FYM crew for helping change my life. All the videos of Jack lately pushed me over the edge, and my wife and I started exercising and changed our diet. We've lost a combined forty pounds. Huge success. Let's go. Hell, fucking awesome. rocks. Uh, we'd been wanting to do it for a while, but I had no drive. I'm completely serious when I say because of the Jack videos, I realized I don't want to have a stroke like that piece of shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so don't think your streams don't matter because they did to me. That's so cool. I, lo I love that I'm we were glad. able to make a positive awesome. uh, like change it in some people's nice. lives by like watching big, fat, stupid idiots like kill themselves mm -hmm. slowly. Yeah, people mm -hmm. say cooking it's with Jack slowly. doesn't promote, promote healthy eating. I yeah. disagree. Yeah, look at it's what his channel the, does. It's the same as the carnivore guy. You see one of those and you just Ugh. think, I should have a salad today. Man, I look when at that like, guy and I, like, uh, I, I can see a big warm fart that fills a room. I looked at his new video and he has pink eye in one eye. I, don't know, <laughs> I assume it happened with him touching his, his eye with a raw chicken someone, finger. Uh, maybe someone just didn't clean out like his cage. Yeah. Uh, he lives in the Chaos Infinity Rabbit Cage. <laughs> he sleeps on a layer of poop, and they just put more uh, sawdust over it. He touched his poop floor, then touched his eye. <laughs> oh, I touched my he poop floor. He scratched, his, he scratched his butt and didn't know he needed a bottom half shower, then rubbed his eye. <laughs> rubbed poop into it. I think <laughs> I need to have my bedding changed. <laughs> he's too busy for a BHS. Yeah, B put, that's why you can't delay your BHS. you got to get in there now. <laughs> no, as soon as you get home from work, <laughs> stinky chef. Get stinky, in there now, stinky chef. Hello, my just stinky like, friends. <laughs> being his roommate and like spraying him off in the driveway before he comes in. Yeah, nope. uh, got to clean you up. You can't come down. You can't come in and sit down until I wash out your butt. It's like peanut butter <laughs> toast <folded> together. <laughs> Leaving a snail trail. Pulling his leg up and wiping him like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he spreads his legs and you just hear like a, a slap on the ground and there's like a little a little dollop of yellow custard. Ew. Ew. That was just, Ew. It was just sitting there collected. And yeah, then it's it like butter down. soft serve. Yeah, it's, it's like meat, a... meat doo doo. <laughs> it's oh, like, it's like the stuff you, Teletubbies eat. You know the construction <laughs> foam, like the yellow construction foam? <laughs> That's oh, what yes. it looked like. It looked like a glob of that. And it, oh, now like you're he, yeah, hungry. he spreads his legs and one of those falls down and he needs a bottom half shower. <laughs> That's so gross. Because he ate just too many pork rinds. Having a fart that just makes the entire inside of your ass wet is so funny to think about. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it sound like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, like you fart and it sounds like you threw like fucking mud at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through it, you start running, <laughs> sprinting. This is a full-on sprint. You, just, you only hear half. It gets quieter as it goes because he's running. 
the unmistakable like just smell of shit instead of a fart <laughs> those videos the videos of him exercising at the beginning mm. of his reviews oh, any man. frame you can pause it and just imagine that that's when he realized he needed a bottom half shower <laughs> Anytime you pause imminent. it on his face. Like, oh, 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 oh no, God. I can't bend over. That's that's not a good smell. <laughs> it's Fuck. just how uh how you do all that for so long and not think to yourself, well maybe this isn't work. <laughs> I know I've said it a million times, and I'm glad that people are seeing that and being like, Well, maybe I could like fix some stuff around my yeah, maybe you know what? I, I could lose a couple LBs, no problem. And you just sort of clean up your diet a little bit, and guess what happens? You get some nice exercise, even just walking. Guess what happens? You start feeling better. You start looking healthier. Yep. You're just oh. feeling better. The, I, I've seen it in chat a few times before, like people saying like watching outlaw videos has like made them not want to eat fast food anymore. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, he makes it not glorious. It's like reverse advertising. Yeah, it's the opposite of what you'd want to do with a food review. But all, again, all that stuff, like, fast food should be a, a once-in-a-while treat where you're like, yeah, I could go for that. And I know it's like our culture is to be like, well, it's easy and all that and it's cheap, so it's fine. And it's not even I hate a fast food. It's just like, I hate him. I hate outlaw. I hate. Yeah, he's not Jack. even interesting about it. He has no insights no. about it. He doesn't look like he's enjoying it really. Moist with the well, sauce. Well, he does on enjoy there. the food, but he's not like. He, he's, he doesn't. Yeah, he enjoys the food, but not even really. Like he can't find anything enjoyable. His eyes roll back in his head, though. That's when he likes it. No, just talking about himself. Mm. But every every single one of those guys, they don't find anything enjoyable. The only one who even pretends to is Freddie, but he's lying the whole time. Yeah. He's putting Freddy, on like Freddy a character. He'd be doing those fucking, he'd be doing those awkward silence fillers if he was bearing a body. <laughs> they so, just want to be glad. famous. They want attention, but they don't. And, they don't want to actually do anything. So they just want to film themselves eating. Nobody gets famous from eating fast food. <laughs> yeah, they do. Joey's World Tour could have, but he fucked it up. He, he couldn't have because he has videos. no. He has no like. He's not I know, interesting. I know. I know. Dame it drops is the quick. only person. What about what about who, that like, little guy? Badlands? No. Nope. Nope. Um the review of the week. Yeah. He's not famous. Is, you I see mean him people on, like, know him, but TV? Yeah, no. Yeah, but like, 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 that's yeah, not that that's little not guy the level of what, what they want. Like the, I mean, how is that guy getting, still doing that? I don't think he likes it that much. <laughs> like he's got a shouldn't that kid go to college or something? Shouldn't he? I mean, I think he makes a decent enough. Like for his sake, he living. should not be. It's. I feel like he was reviewing McDonald's in a suit when I was like in eighth grade. Yeah, he was. I yeah. just want something different for him. Me too, but I think sometimes like a guy like, like Joey, get... you're like, ah, uh, like what is he gonna? He has so little life left. Yeah, he's <laughs> too. He's too far gone. <laughs> but, but someone who's like in their twenties, it's like you, you can't just. You can't, there's more to life than McDonald's. I mean, Joey's World Tour is one foot in the grave. Yeah, the mm -hmm. report of the honest. week. The report Joey's, of the week kid has Joey's, like 2.7 million, 2.75 million subscribers. His videos do like 300,000. He gets money from it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see the incentive Joey, to keep doing it. Like, it's it's inertia. Like, why would you turn that that money yeah. down? But it, it, ends, it ends up being like, I don't know, you get like 20 years into it. And what You're do you eating have? fast food three, four times a week, if not more than that. And uh, you're going to get real sick and not feel good. Yeah, you're doing supersize me forever. Mm -hmm. Joey's yeah, hourglass is filled with salt and he keeps using it. <laughs> <laughs> He's grabbing it from the top. God damn Fuck. It. <laughs> that would be yeah, a pretty good it. salt shaker idea, actually. An hourglass just for no reason. <laughs> that would be not so time annoying. Anything. It falls out both ends no matter which yeah. way you put it <laughs> yeah. down. <laughs> Every time you flip I it, thought, of a, I thought of a really funny dumb guy uh, invention like that before, but it's salt and salt and pepper shaker. It's just mix. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> I'm sure that <laughs> has to <laughs> exist, right? Yeah, Probably. Probably. ketchup Probably. and mustard but, like, together. How often do you use them like that? Yeah, the same Usually amount. One or the like, other. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, need, this, of, I like, need the same amount of salt. It's and so pepper. funny to think about. <laughs> there are a lot of people who only put salt and pepper on every meal, and they do put it on every meal. True. And when that's they're at true. a restaurant, they expect there to be salt and pepper. Those are the people that make really bland tasting shit, and they're like, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> salt and pepper, that's it. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I only want it if it's been out. on Blue's Clues. True. 
Salt, pepper, and paprika. That's all I care about. I can't believe All right. They, Thank you for listening, everybody. Sense. Thank yeah, why you. Is we, why that one's love Salt you. and pepper don't make paprika. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get why you wouldn't want to have, like, cumin on there or those other ones, but paprika, it's kind of well, interesting. We should have uh, Joshua Jerry on to talk about that. That's true. He doesn't know about those spices. I think he Yeah, knows. but if we explain it to him, it'd <laughs> fucking hurt his brain. He'd be like, damn, how's paprika? Well, how's paprika born to his parents? Sorry, I seen the black metal vampire voice. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about him. Yeah. Well, imagine R. salt R. and pepper fucking oh, Check out, out Bud Light. Check out Target. Salt and pepper yep, gone check out woke. The woke. Check out some check out. woke gay crap. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Love it. Subscribe to the Patreon. God Rock bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.